if we sort of unpause things and take a look at the horrendous traffic in our city what the heck is going on is it me or those traffic lights facing the wrong way <laughs> look these two here what's going on with that what are those ambulances doing good grief Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines with me Biffa. Here we are in Mississippi T and we're doing some troubleshooting today. We're doing some traffic solving in this city. We're going to monkey with some junctions, put in some mass transit, make things a bit walkable or a bit more walkable I should say and really use some of the in-game tools and some of the mod tools that we've got just to really improve what is going on in our city. And we're starting off at this uh, junction, this interchange that we've got going here this is probably the main junction of the city now now that we've expanded and moved away from everything being over here this side of the map with the industry up here our starting spot here lots of high density over here uh, now we've spread down here so we've got more industry down this side more housing more industry lots of people that live down here and the biggest thing that's causing problems is this junction here. So if we just zoom in a bit, we can see it's pretty super busy. Lots of cars coming this way, but this, this main junction through here um, with cars coming from outside the city is the main problem. And then what happens is, is this backs up, which then means this backs up. And then that affects everything else. At the moment, it's not too bad. Um, just before I started recording, I've done a lot of playing around with paths and things like that. And I've added in some more crossway paths over here. We already had no crossing uh, on this junction because we've got all of our paths that are set up. Where is the nearest one? This one over here. But I've added this path over here as well. Um, and this is moving okay. And then as we come down here, this is still working all right this backs up a little bit but it's this bit here and yeah when it backs up too much it causes problems so what we're going to do is we're going to change this junction also i'm going to just turn it around this way again as that's the way we were looking at it first i always count this way as north helps me to keep my brain in gear of what's going on this is a four phase light as you can see so because we've got the four roads connecting which means i've got this phase up here i think set as the longest uh, let's just take a look at that yeah 815 so if we oh, actually no that's this one at the top here let's just stop these and take a look 820 yes there we go and then phase three is this one down here i don't think that actually needs to be as long anymore there's not so much traffic but what we can also use is, if we come out of that, the in-game tool that everybody has, this one down here, traffic routes. Um, so let's just click on a road down here, out of the way. So what we want to do is go around these and sort of use my eyeballs. If there were some actual figures we could get on this, that would be great, but there isn't. But if we look at this and see where is the busiest traffic going, well, this road here, straight up and down, is the busiest. Not so much going left and right. If we have a look at this one, this is pretty busy. But again, I would say there's a lot of traffic going up and down this top road. Quite busy going across, but yeah, that's just a busy road down there. There's a lot of mass transit and stuff going on down there. Again, this road, you can see lots of people going up and down. Not so many taking these two side roads. And then we'll check this one. Again, that's a pretty busy road. But uh, for this one, it's most people coming from sort of down this area down here. But that's okay. So overall, checking those three different areas with my eyeballs, this is the main busy road going up and down here. So what we're going to put in here is I believe what it's called a quadrant interchange. I saw this on Yumble's channel. Um, if you haven't seen Yumble before, go and check them out. Fantastic. Uh, diving into oh, he does all sorts of things lots of stuff to do with junctions which is i find really interesting yeah go and check him out give him a sub say hi so yeah this quadrant interchange is going to take away um a point here where these roads meet um, i'm probably going to use this one here and take it from a am i in underground mode or something yeah there we go and take it from a four-way interchange to a three-way interchange um, so if we come along here and go up so now this road going through here could just continue straight on but if anybody wants to turn off of this road or this road onto the other we need to add a bit of a junction unfortunately it's going to mean losing a couple of buildings 
but we do have all the space down here so i'm not worried about that and then going through here um i'm gonna grab this road again for now let's just bring that down a little bit here is that not gonna let me join there for some reason space already occupied well i know it is i'm trying to put a road there 320 we'll worry about that in a moment and then coming out this way 320 as well and then we're going to connect those two together so this road going through here is now a continuous straight road through there will be a traffic light here but now it's a three-way traffic light instead of a four-way and the same for the people going this way it's now a three-way instead of a four-way traffic light well it will be once we've got that set up um so that is basically that is basically it um we could change up the lanes that we've got but i'm just wondering whether what we've got is enough so we've got one dedicated to coming off although we've got two there so i'll tell you what i am going to do is i am now going to grab those asymmetrical rows that we had before and we're going to use them here so we'll grab that one we're going to change this one so now we can have two lanes turning um yeah it's not going to put it on there but these two are going that way this one is going straight on so that's going to work out quite well and then we want that same road but we want it down here i'm going to do two segments going back excellent and then we'll grab our lanes again so we're going to have two turning and one straight on uh this one here we've got one lane for each direction so that's fine um, and then I'm also going to grab that and upgrade this one that way round. There we go. And we'll do the same on here. So going this way, so we're going to have two turning and one straight on. Uh, that's fine, a lane in each direction. And then we'll do the same over here. Boink. There we go. So we're going to have two turning and one straight on. Of course, we can adjust that as we go along. We might find that we want two straight on and one turning. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, so what we could do now is we could just pop in some automatic traffic lights and be done. But what we want to do is for this to empty out and go and be able to move freely through. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop that light there. We're going to stop that and remove it. I didn't remove this one. And we're going to link these two lights together. Yeah, before we do that, I've just changed these rows, the asymmetrical one. It wasn't the 3 plus 2, it was the 4 plus 2 that I wanted. So now, if we look at these, we have got two lanes for straight on, which we've got two lanes over there, two lanes for turning off. And then we've done the same on this side here, two lanes straight on, two for turning off, the same on that one there, and the same on this one here as well. So that will work much, much better. Right, let's get these lights sorted. Okay, so we'll select the time traffic lights. This is the traffic manager mod, by the way. We're going to select this node here, and we're going to select that node there. So that's both together. Then we're going to set up our time traffic lights and we're going to add a step onto here now this is the default that it comes with we want to allow more time for uh, cars trucks everything to go through let's try 5 and 25 28 let's try 5 and 28 something like that and then i believe what yumble did is drop down the flow sensitivity so we're going to drop that down to 0.3 very long green and red phases then we want to have a look at our actual lights and because we're going to be working with these let's just get rid of that yeah we want to click on here so we're going to change mode so we get access to all the lights on each side that means we need to do it there we need to do it there i think that one's already done isn't it yeah there we go and then we can start setting these up how we need them right so for the first step here we're going to let these guys go straight on and these top guys turn left which means if you sort of visualize that they're going to be going straight down there and these are going to be turning in over here which means this is free so we can have that as a right turn there and then let's move over on here and we can do a similar thing over here at the same time in fact yeah that's right so we'll have straight and left and we'll have right turn on there so that's going to be our first phase so if we do add, we'll get our other phase set up. And now that's going to be the opposite of what we've done already. So what we're going to do is we'll turn these two on. We'll turn that one off because that's going to be in the way. And we'll turn that one off. So if we visualize that again, these are going straight on. These are going straight on. And then these are turning. So that needs to be out the way. So that works for that one. And then we're going to do exactly the same 
on this step over here. So we'll turn that on, that on, that off, and that off. Let's add the next one. So now we'll just go back to down here. We'll do it in order. So on this one, we want to let these guys out. So we're going to stop the straight through traffic here. <laughs> it's not letting me do it. It's not letting me do it. Come on. I'm clicking. Okay, I just had to come out and go back into the traffic manager. So now we're going to turn off the straight ahead and we're going to allow both of those to go out because obviously that can turn while these two are going. And then we're going to do the same over here. So we'll turn off the straight ahead and we'll let those two go out. And there we go. That is it. So we've got that added in. So now we just need to uh, see how that works. Okay, so that is all saved on there, ready to go. And because we're using these American roads, as you know, there's one more thing we need to do. So every time we get sort of like a transition from one sort of road to another like this, we need to put the U go through on. So there's going to be a few of those that we need to do. That's probably okay there. The other side of the bridge is okay. That goes straight through. There is a traffic light hiding underneath there from the old junction. So that's been removed. You go through, you go through, there'll be one down here, you go through, you go through. If you're using, if you're not using these roads, then you wouldn't have to worry about that. Okay, I think that's it. So, why don't we just zoom out a bit, and what we want to see now is this, going straight through like that, and hopefully, as this section starts building up, we need to just give it a minute or two for cars to use their brain and realize that things have changed so eventually what will happen is this segment in here i'm just trying to zoom in a bit will fill up with cars and then they'll all be allowed to go out in one go so let's just leave that running for a few moments do you know what i'm going to do i'm going to extend these segments here so if we grab this road using the picker picker mod we're going to go one i might even go two back so now what we've got is the ability for cars to queue up all the way back to here uh, we probably just need to draw this in again for it to connect correctly let's just do that yeah there we go excellent so we get that little extra piece there and i'm actually wondering whether this piece here we should do like an intermediate uh, piece as well i'm going to add an extra node say there just so we can upgrade this one i'm going to use a picker picker mod to grab that and i'm going to go one down so instead of a 4 plus 2, it's a 3 plus 2. There we go. Is that going to do what I'm thinking it's going to do? One. And then spread that one out into two. That one can go down there. Yeah. I mean, maybe we give that a try. Why not? Let's just do some fun things. So we're going to have that one going straight on. And that one goes into two. And then when it goes down here, now we've got two that go straight on, which is good. So actually, yeah, this is doing what I want it to do because now, because when we get down here, as we remember, we've set this up with two straight on and two turning. So what was happening before was everybody in this lane was being forced only to use this one right hand turn lane. But now they can spread out a bit more naturally. So, yeah, hopefully that will help. And then when we get down here, they're not going to change lane because they're in the lane that they want. There we go. That's good. I don't need the coming out one forced so we're going to stop that one there's one under the bridge as well there we go so that's good that should help a lot with that and i might just do a similar thing over here with three by two as well that's it yeah there we go excellent so if you're not using these big american roads you might not have to do that you'll be fine oh and you know what i'm gonna have to do one last thing is where we've got these new little connections here is we want you to go through <laughs> they're like totally confused because you just changed the road i want you to go through that one's okay this one isn't so we'll do that yeah if you're just using the standard city skylines road you won't need to do all of this extra stuff okay so things are more or less working well this main road down here look how clear that is that has really helped the traffic down this road this side is moving quite happily uh, you might have noticed in my setup i switched this road around i had that wrong way around 
this is not too bad and this is not too bad there is one little issue whoa let's move around this way cars coming out of here this is a new roundabout i added off camera so over in this section of town um and it really helped this sort of three-way junction this roundabout just perfectly worked um, but at the minute people getting out of this one here is a bit of an issue i just want to double check how we've set this up and also something else that we've got um here which is working against us which yumble didn't have in his uh, setup was we've got people crossing over these roads so i'm going to turn that off on these junctions here which will immediately take out of the equation of the traffic lights um a spot for people crossing which is good that's what we want i'm just double checking this here that i've done this right so that one spreads into two that one spreads into two these go straight on yeah it just seems to be like you can see this car here if i pause the game if i delete that car sorry this is going to start moving so these here are sort of blocking and then the same over here. I mean, I think that is just the way it's going to go. But now that we've taken out of the equation, um, the crossing, yeah, they should switch a lot quicker. I've up that to 30 as well instead of 28. And hopefully, if we just keep an eye on this side over here. What are those ambulances doing? Good grief. There's people in the middle here switching around and going back the other way. I don't know what's going on there, but I think sometimes when you change things with traffic manager... There, look, it's not backing up now, look. Sometimes when you change things with traffic manager, you've got to give the cars a few seconds to work out what the heck is going on. Right, so what I'm going to add in now is some pedestrian bridges. Um, and I'm going to do this junction here, which is going to add in a little thing like that. Unfortunately, again, with these American roads... The path doesn't seem to sort of match up nicely, which is a bit of a bit of a downside. But uh, I'm going to just move these trees back. There we go. And I'm going to stretch that out. We just have to use our imagination. So now people can get past here. There we go. That's good. We can do a little bit of decorating around there. This one here, I'm a bit worried because we've got so many buildings around here. I think we're going to end up losing... Let's pop this in first. Boink. Yeah, there we go. We're going to end up losing some buildings here. But let me just sort this out. Excellent. So now we'll get people crossing over the top of there instead. Which, again, is going to really help. Is it me or those traffic lights facing the wrong way? <laughs> Look. These two here. What's going on with that? Oh, it's for the people coming the other direction, I suppose. Uh, but that's a bit weird. But anyway, so what I want to do now is I want to keep an eye on each junction and make sure that when the lights change, enough cars get through. So that was backed up to about here. So these ones have got through. These are pretty much, yeah, all got through. This is backed up a long way now because of these couple of little changes that we've made. So that doesn't quite get through enough. Uh, this through here empties okay if it wasn't for these ambulances i think we'd have a much better time because they're <laughs> causing all sorts of problems now what you can do with this is you can add um another road going this way so now you're sort of getting into park low territories i think something like that so instead of having these coming up here down underneath and round and up you could literally have them coming off and going up that way which actually considering that road no, it still had a junction going across, wouldn't it? Yeah. So that has made a huge difference to that junction, which is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. So thank you, Yumble, for uh, introducing me to this type of quadrant, quadrant interchange. Not something I'd sort of considered before. There we go, look. Not even backing up past the bridge. That's brilliant. That is working fine. So, then we've got this little junction here. I mean, these ones up here um, are busy, but okay. This one ebbs and flows a lot. This one, as you can see, is pretty much okay. This corner's okay. It's this sort of bit here, and I'm just wondering. It's like they're very slow to get going, these cars, which is rather annoying. Yeah, so what we've got here, if we use this menu and look at this road, we've got a lot of people going straight on and not so many rights. Now, we do have two lanes for going straight on, don't we? Um, but because we've got a traffic light here, 
I just want to see. Yeah, but at some point, these go straight on without any other people coming around the corner. So we could change this for an asymmetrical road, which will be this middle one here. And I'm pretty sure that will solve the problem. So we'll get the, ace the extra lanes coming there. And then we just need to redraw this bit in the middle. Let's grab that road so we know what it is. Delete. And then we'll draw that one back in. It's just the way these roads go sometimes. There we go. We'll expand that node there. And what I'm actually going to do is just move that node back a bit. So two lanes for straight on and one for right. So this is more sort of set up as if both were going right. I don't think there's another road that I can use where it put this straight line through the middle there instead. But that's fine. So the light should have automatically have changed. So let's just keep an eye on... Oh, I know what I'm going to have to do. We're going to have to say, please cars, please don't freak out. That's set up okay. And then I'm just going to have to do... Yeah, look, there we go. You can probably see it already while I'm messing around with these lines. I want that one to go there and there, and that one to go there. So already, look, they're all going through. Just check they're not forcing people. Yeah, there's plenty of other nodes where they can change. So let's just watch this again. There we go. They're all going through, which is excellent. That's good. So keeping that in mind... There's probably other places down here where we've done the same. Um, so if we take that there and take a look at that. So this one does have two lanes for straight on, but we've got this one for left. So I'm assuming that most of these are wanting to turn left. Some are going straight on. Yeah, so they're going to get in each other's way. So we could actually do the same there as well. We'll grab this road. Have I gone all the way past it? No, there it is. I'm just going to pause the game while I do this. All right, went in the first time with no problems. Excellent. Then we're going to say here, one for left and two for straight on. So we still get that left lane. Uh, where's my next nearest node? It's a long way away. So I'm going to bring that back to, say, there. Then use node controller to bigify that. Then use traffic manager to say, you go through, already done. Excellent. And again, this one is for those two. So we're giving straight on options in this lane and in this lane, which is good. So if we just watch this, once they've all freaked out and worked out what's going on, we should now get people going through twice as fast straight on, which is exactly what we want. A little bit of hawky walky lane switch in there. Let's just do another iteration of the lights. Hawky walky lane switching down here. Hawky walky lane switching is okay when the traffic keeps flowing because you don't notice it. Like this car here, this one here, he went right from the outside to the inside and it didn't matter because there's no other cars there. It only becomes a problem, look at that, when there's too many cars. It's already gone down and not, not a problem. Uh, this over here, we're not going to change because we've got this corner on, which is basically adding the extra lane in, so that's fine. As we carry along, that's all fine. This is fine. So then coming round here... This is probably doing a similar thing, is it? No, we've got extra lanes. It's these guys going out that are a problem. Um, what are they doing here? Let's just use our eyeballs on this lane here at the moment. So what I want to see is where everybody's going from this little piece of road. So there we go. I would say 90% of the people coming down here are going through the main part of the city. A few are leaving. I'm just thinking, is there a way we could get this set up? Because at the minute, this road doesn't go anywhere, um, which is fine. I'm just wondering whether we could maybe do... Oh, this is something I hate doing, monkeying with these lanes. If we just pause this a moment, we could say, look, if you're in this pink lane, that, that is the one that goes back into the city. And then he can sort of spread out and then he can spread out again. And then if you're using this lane, this is the one that is going to go. So this middle one is going to go to the outside. This one is going to leave. And then that's going to make people use both lanes because at the minute they're using this outside lane to leave and to go to the city. So we just give it. Oh, yeah, just notice we've got all these other lanes. They're literally being forced into this lane here. I'm going to take out that one. I'll tell you what it is. It's because as soon as you start using these elevated road pieces, you've got to have lane connectors here. So then suddenly when things are very close to each other, 
you don't have a lot of room for people changing their minds. Here we go. This lorry is going to be the first one. He's going to come down here. He's heading into the city. So what we should see after all these cars go through is more people using this other lane and not using this. See, this one here, where's he going? Yeah, see, they're, to <laughs> they're totally ignoring what I've said. Did I do that right? Oh, no, look. Yeah, they're using... They can still use this to get into the city, can't they? Look, could I put it onto two? They can use the red and go over there. All right, let me change that. There and there. That's what I want. Okay, these are all going to freak out now. What I'm thinking we're going to see is people changing lanes here a lot. Or hopefully picking the right lane when they come through here. Because they're not being forced into any lanes here. Here we go. Look, ambulance, this other car. All right, let's just give that a second. And just see. Here we go. Look, already more people using that lane. So, I mean, that is Uber traffic management. Which normally we don't have to do. But normally you wouldn't necessarily have a roundabout like this right at the head of your city in and out. Because don't forget, let's just leave that running for a second. Don't forget, because of the way this map is set up, it's not necessarily ideal. Because we've got, i do that view, does that help? Not really. We've got the highway coming in here. We've got the highway coming in here. Um, and we've got no highway here. And this one splits off. So that is all the traffic from this side, from the top, from the top. And they all basically converge on, if you're lucky enough, this extra highway connection that we put in through the mountain, which if you remember, all they come through here. And everybody that's coming from this connection and this connection chooses this one. Uh, a lot of others from this side would choose that one. So it basically makes this one a huge, huge uh, traffical problem in the middle here. As we can see, people backing up all over the place. That might just see this might end up being removed and being changed into some sort of junction you know ideally what we'd have for instance here is a dedicated lane coming down here and going through but what we can't do oh auto save quit sympathy and metropolis hooray oh, i was hoping we'd hit that today what i'd hope in we can now unlock another square. We've hit that. We've got access to other airports. We'll come back to that. I might just leave that and come back to that. I'll tell you why. Because I want to look at the squares we've got available. Because we can buy another square. Can we buy our way into a better highway connection? We can literally... We bought this here. So these people coming up here are already... Yeah, but what we could do is have a connection through here. Because we've got this highway junction here which doesn't go anywhere even this little road here we could swing it round so which if we got this one we could swing that round and have another connection up there and it would give us a nice piece of land i'm gonna go for it i am gonna buy it there we go and hopefully we're gonna lessen the amount of traffic that's coming in oh look it's all gone down anyway look that's coming in down there and also all of these people that are coming out those that are leaving might choose to leave here if they want to go along there or they might choose to leave and go up here right so what i think i'm going to do is i'm not going to change up this this highway junction here so we've got this sort of road which you might initially think will bring that round there but i'm going to use this highway connection that we've got here and i want to bring that through the mountain we've got like it's a sister tunnel over here which we connected up the top here which uh, I thank you for the compliments on this. A lot of people said very re realistic junction. You know, the roads had to follow the terrain, as we can see. We've got the guardrails. We've got the connections. We've got the road that goes underneath. Um, a lot of people said that was really good, and I appreciate that. Uh, so we are going to take this road here. And where are we going to get to? We are going to get to that sort of bit of mountain there. Let's see what we can do. So these are already raised up. So I'm thinking as we get along here, we are definitely going to go for some sort of tunnel action through here. There we go. That'll go over the road. We can, we can monkey with the heights and things uh, another time. That's fine. Excellent. And then that is going to come out here. And where is the thinnest piece of mountain? I mean, I reckon through here would be perfect. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that as a straight piece there. And we're going to draw that in first of all. 
So that's going to go like that. Then it's going to come back up to normal height again. Can we see the bit underground? No, I don't want to delete it. So I want to just get underground, please, if that's all right. Let's go into that view. There we go. Go back to normal height and come out like that. Excellent. And we can turn that around. And then I'm going to use this tool here and connect from there to there. So if I use the right tool, it helps. There we go. Excellent. So that then brings that road out to there. So then all we need to do now is do the same with that. What I'm thinking we could do again is use this tool. And we want this one here. That's the tool I clicked first of all on mistake. And we're going to go from there. Is that going to let me select up here? If I do it the other way, that would be better. Go from there to here. Yep, excellent. We'll do that. Then we'll union some of these nodes together. Yep. Click the right thing. That will select that. And then we need to change some of these roads. Is there a node in there? There is. So we're going to make that a raised one. There we go. Over the top. And then that's going to go through all the way through here and out the other side. Excellent. Look at that. Look at that. So how are we going to connect up to here? Yep. So we're going to just use a simple trumpet interchange. I've just merged these two roads into the six lane road with no parking, which is going to help us, which is then going to go. I'm going to just aim for over the top of the middle of this road here. Okay, I think we can work with this one. Uh, let's go with this. So then we need, need to do a little bit of tweaking on here. Hopefully with the lane mathematics on here. Yeah, we've got like extra lanes coming in. Um, I'm not going to be overly concerned about that because we're going to end up with probably a traffic light here. But what I do want is... Let's take that off of there and that one... Oh, actually, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, that one can go out and go straight and go over the top. Depends how busy it gets. It's one of those situations again, isn't it? Um, and then over here, we've got three plus two. We've got three. One goes off down to two. Two plus two is four. Yeah, we've got a bit of slightly different lane mathematics that we're going to do here. So let's do it like this. Three, one, go, uh, three. We're going to count this as one going off up here. Um, so then I'm going to put this down to two. And then two plus two is <laughs> four. <laughs> I'll be doing maths. <laughs> Have I picked the right one? Oh dear. There we go. So we get four lane. That is not the right one. Where is the four lane? I thought this was the four highway. This one here. Can't even see. It's getting towards the end of the day. And then we can have that uh, four come along there and then that can go down to three. That's no problem. And then we'll do the same going in the other direction. Of course, as we, you know, as things build up in this area, we might want to sort of change this around a little bit. But for now, it will be fine. Back into four, down to three over there. And then we're going to change this. So we're going to have one lane going off, which then splits into two. They can pick each of those two lanes. Uh, we'll do the same over here. One lane going off. They can pick the two lanes. Those two can go on. And that is probably about it. Uh, this little bit up here. Let's just... Oh, yeah. That needs to be out a bit, doesn't it? Let's just curve this a tiny bit. And then we want to make sure they're not turning round here. So we're going to say, you go there. Straight through. And then because we're using the vanilla roads, we don't need to add the you go straight through stuff. That will just work nicely. Um, this, I'd like to shift these two lanes over so it doesn't sort of like hook over a right like that. And I know there's a way of doing that with a node controller. So if we get that, yeah, straighten everything else out. And then I believe hold shift to align road. So that one there. No, so that went the wrong way, didn't it? All right, let's try that again and go the other way. So click the road you want to shift first. There we go. And then do that one there. There we go. And that moves it over. So then we can sort of move down here. I thought I was going to do the whole thing. Am I like missing something here? Hold shift to align road. So hold shift. I've done that. And I've done that. Mm, okay. 
and then we can sort of use the move it mod I'm, th I'm sure there was another way of doing that but anyway we'll just leave it like that and then we'll do the one over here as well I, I know I'm missing something I'm sure you'll tell me so hold shift that from there to there yeah Actually, yeah, that looks okay because it curves around. All right, we'll go with that. And then we just need to level out some of these roads, which is that one. So we're going to go from there to there. Excellent. We're going to go from there to there. Excellent. And I think everything else is looking all right. Yeah, very good, very good. So that now means we've got another access into the city through here, which... If we sort of unpause things and take a look at the horrendous traffic in our city. What the heck is going on? I've made so many changes. We need to let everybody just think about it for a bit. Okay. But at least we're allowing them now another way in. So it'll be interesting to see whether people start using this. I hope so. Okay, so we can check how many people are going to be using this road. We use our in-game tool, as I call it, our traffic routes. And we click on this single road up here. And there we go. Oh, another autosave. I think I deserve a cup of tea after all of that. And look at that, the amount of people now coming up here. So that is all sorts of traffic coming up there. Why am I not seeing this? There we go. That's what I want to see. So if we just turn all of these off. So not so many pedestrians, not so many cyclists, a lot of private vehicles, which is what we'd expect. Public transport, no. Trucks, yes. So now that we've got all of those coming down there... We've just got to hope that what we've got set up down here works okay. We don't have any lame mathematics on here. Well, we did do a bit of lame mathematics over there. I'm not going to monkey with it, to be honest. What we're probably going to see is an increase in traffic through this intersection and then down here. So we need to sort of keep an eye on that. But as we can see, overall, not too bad. A lot of places are super, super busy. Yep, this is going okay. That's going all right over there. This is going all right. Don't forget, red roads don't mean traffic. They just mean super busy. Oh, this is clogged up again, but it just comes and goes. This is going a lot better. This is going a lot better. And then if we keep an eye on over here, yeah, we'll see what happens over this way. But so far, looking good. And here we are back at the Quadrant Interchange. So, yeah, I think that's been uh, a fantastic addition, along with all the other roads, really helping to manage our traffic by using all the different tools we've got available to us and giving people access to get in and out of the city in lots of different ways. So, thank you very much for your support and for watching. Don't forget to check out the other video on the screen. And we've got Farthest Frontier as well being interspersed amongst the city skylines the past week. Hope you've enjoyed that as well. Have a fantastic day and I will see you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.